Real quick and dirty one today, mostly because I either have to stop holding on to my Osmo or get off my bed, and I really don't want to get off my bed. I'm, I'm really, I'm lazy. I'm having a, a real rough, uh, busy, real busy week, um, real busy month, and I've been luckily still buying perfumes. Um, again, I, I owe you a backlog of review videos because I've purchased some really great ones I'm excited to talk about. Uh, I've just been super busy with work and personal stuff. Um, but we had some breaking news and I'm pretty much a perfume journalist, right? <laughs> this close. Um, with one of the houses that I talk about pretty frequently on this channel. So I did want to share that information with you uh, and make sure that you've got the latest and greatest when it comes to Juliana's perfume. It's going to be in the thumbnail, so you're going to know it's breaking news on Juliana's. Um, again, if you watch my reviews on Juliana's, you know that I feel that they're a fabulous dupe house. Um, that's not a secret. <laughs> and that the quality is super high and, you know, for the price, but also just super high, period. Uh, and that goes for the quality of the scents, the longevity, how close they are to what they're trying to duplicate, um, and then the packaging. And the packaging is mostly where they're making the changes. Um, that I want to share with you as far as their um, what's happening, the reasoning behind it, et cetera. So um, I've ordered from Juliana's three times. Um, I've got Aurora, um, their Baccarat Rouge Dupe, Bad B. That is their Rouge Malachite. Love that one. And then the new one I have is Kissed by an Angel. And I will review this for you at the end of the video, but let me give you the news first. So as you can see, all of these are glass, beautiful bottles. Um, they fit nicely together. Um, the, the labels, it's got some heft to it. So the quality is there. And in addition to these big bottles for whatever you order, they've also um, allowed you to include two free samples of your choice. So you could look through what was available um, in their samples, and then you can select the two that you want, and then you get them. Not only do you get them, stupid Osmo, um, you get them in these glass, beautiful bottles with these hand type labels, and they tell you what the scent notes are on the side. Oh, and they're so nice. Um, but this is what they're discontinuing. And if you go onto their Facebook page, you can read the explanation. I'm going to summarize it for you, and then I'm also going to put it at the end of this video in its entirety. So if you do want to read through it, um, you'll have all that at the end of this video to um, explain. Um, the short answer is not going to come as a surprise for those of you who are existing on this planet right now. The costs are up. Um, a lot of what the the way that Juliana's does business, it's a small business and things are done by hand. So that includes things like um, pouring the bottles, typing up, um, getting the labels. Um, all of this is done mostly by hand. Uh, and they also had used um, domestic um, carriers, vendors. Uh, for the labels themselves and to put everything together and things like shipping costs, material costs, labor costs, everything is up. So it started to become an unprofitable business for Juliana's to stay in business, just having to include these samples. Um, in addition, there were some also uh, uh, issues with it as well, um, not just related to the cost of it, but also um, timing, delays, being able to include uh, the two that you requested, making sure that they were in stock and included with your order. Um, sometimes that took additional time, slowed down the shipping time, um, you know, which was not a less satisfactory experience for their customers as well. So what they're going to be doing is discontinuing these beautiful little samples that I do love, um, but it's understandable. So I, I'm going to ask in my thumbnail if, if I'm mad or if people are mad. And the good news is people don't seem to be mad. Um, some people are a little, you know, sad, but very understanding, you know, this is happening everywhere and we don't certainly don't want them to go under just trying to include these little guys. So um, most of the response has been that people appreciate Juliana's transparency about what's happening and why and being upfront about what they're going to do about it. So what are they going to do about it? So, um, you know, samples are a plus. Uh, not every, even these really nice designer houses, expensive brands, not everybody includes them. You know, it's a nice perk. Uh, but Juliana's is not going to leave us hanging. Um, starting in December, they're going to release a catalog of fragrances, which is going to have all of their fragrances available to it. I have not seen what this is actually going to look like. They haven't been too specific either. I don't know if that's because it's still in progress or, but I do expect they'll probably show it on the website when it's available. Um, when I think catalog, and I know that there's not going to be an actual tangible bottle here, what I picture is probably those like 
not scratch and sniff, but you know, like the ones that you would get inside of a magazine where you can lift labels and smell. Um, not the same experience, obviously, as a full amount here, because this is a, a good amount of juice. I keep picking this up every two seconds. It's a good amount of juice. Not the same, but there's pros to it, aside from saving Juliana's the money that they need to save uh, to stay in business. Uh, in addition to it, you'll also be able to smell all of their scents at the same time. So rather than waiting for things to go into stock, which happens with Juliana pretty frequently, things go out of stock, so you can't try them anyway. Um, this catalog will have all of their scents available for you to smell at the same time to decide what you want to order. Um, and then also they're anticipating the shipping times to be super quick. Um, according to their statement, they're talking about same day shipping. I don't know if that's just for the catalog or for the scents themselves, but it makes it sound like, again, from what I'm reading, that it's same day shipping for the bottles, which is great because, you know, <laughs> uh, if you're anything like me as a, as a fragrance uh, shopper, you hate a long wait. You get real excited when you know that you want something and you know it's coming. Uh, it's just, it's really exciting to get it, you know, the next day, <laughs> um, you know, to, to get what you want and to get to try it. So uh, that's what they're anticipating being the pro of this is that faster shipping, the, the ability to try them all at the same time, um, and then saved costs for them. So that is the big change. It is, it is a big change. As I said, you really, I really felt like they were giving you a lot for your money prior to this. So it wasn't sustainable in this market and we understand, we get it. Okay, I did promise you a review of my newest one, which is um, Kissed by an Angel, right here, in these bottles. I don't think they're changing these bottles. I should probably know that as a journalist, as a journalist here. Um, but this is their um, Angel Share by Killian inspired scent. Uh, Killian and I have a mixed relationship, I guess I would say. Um, whereas with a house like Juliet has a gun, which is a misfire for me all the time. I don't hate them. Again, misfires, and I'm still interested. Uh, Killian is more, I'm not quite on board yet. Um, a mixed bag. So Love Don't Be Shy is one that I was very excited. I'm going on such a tangent. Love Don't Be Shy was one uh, that I was so excited to try and just missed the mark for me. I just came off as a little sharp um, and not that sweet marshmallowy scent that people get from it. So it could be my weird nose, but that was one that I was really game to try. Um, when I went to Saks, I tried their full range and just s smelled everything. And the only one that really caught my fancy, I should say, I also do have Princess, which I think is a nice scent, crowd pleasing, a bit overpriced. Um, but the, the one that caught my fancy at that Saks try on was the Angel Share. I thought it was pretty unique. Um, I thought it was a nice deep scent and something that I could see myself wearing. It is unisex as well. Um, a lot of the reputation it has is for having this um, apple pie kind of scent to it. And, okay, yeah, I can kind of see it. There's, that, that's not the notes in it, and that's what people talk about. That's not the notes, but that's the impression. That's how it comes off. Um, kind of similar to my Followed um, by Kerosene, where it's not technically maple syrup, but my gosh, is it maple syrup? You know, that kind of deal. Um, well, I will say for this Kiss by an Angel... I wonder if, because I don't get a lot of that apple smell, so I don't know if it's necessarily that it's not super, super close, but I will say that I think it's kind of what Kiss by an Angel, I'm oh, sorry, what Angel Share is supposed to be or what they're going for based on the notes that are in it. So I'll put the notes like I always do. Um, but basically, it's this warm chocolate tonka um, vibe to it. And it has, um, yeah, just a lot of, I guess, the, the it's a gourmand, but it's very warm. And as I said, in unisex as well. Um, and it's beautiful, just like all the other Julianas, the longevity's there, the projection's there. Um, it's great for winter and fall. I just sprayed it right before the video just to enjoy it. It's a nice one. It's just, you can really smell the quality. It's very well blended. Um, I get a lot of the, the warm chocolate, but um, I wouldn't say it's as literal as, say, followed by kerosene in terms of the gourmandness. It's more of a, a vibe. <laughs> which I love. I love when a, when a, when a perfume is a vibe um, versus, you know, you can pick out six notes necessarily, you know, next to each other. Um, I don't get a ton of the orange, but it's there. Like you got a little edge of it, um, just kind of brightening up that warmth a little bit. Um, it's a gorgeous one. It is sold out right now at the moment with a wait list. That's how Juliana kind of rolls, but things do come back into stock. Um, I did also get Scarlet Letter from them as a sample. Um, and then the one that's orange, yeah, Oud Orange Imperial. I haven't played around with Oud or Orange Imperial a ton. It's on my list. I'm going to play around with it. I got it. I haven't really tried it too much, um, but I will. Uh, Scarlet Letter. I'm making faces. If, if you know, if, if you like Alien 
and you like the really salty jasmine sexy something that's making a statement um of that line and i do <laughs> um it's a beautiful one i keep that one in my purse when i really want to make a statement i have that one in delina some small ones in my purse that i wear uh, so i do like scarlet letter as well Re also recommended um i would read through the notes and the reviews so you kind of know what you're getting into with it um it's not a subtle one but it's a nice one it's beautiful so um Juliana's, I'm still on board. You're still a great deal. I'm interested in this catalog situation. I will be picking one up in December. Hopefully a lot of you will be as well. Um, I forgot to plug my microphone in this whole time. This is, this is the kind of week I'm having. Oh, well. I apologize for the audio quality that you're probably going to experience. And I'm going to put Juliana's full statement here at the end. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. If you have thoughts on Juliana's, um, positive or negative reactions to the news, please put it in the comments. That is all for this one. I hope to be back with lots and lots and lots of reviews for you very shortly. Have a wonderful fall. <laughs> Unless you're on the other side of the planet, spring. Take care. Bye.